one. Excellent one, Red. Yes, and that is the one thing that has been more noticeable than anything else. His long pot success has been really, really good. Well, there you go, 90%. It's not been that for a long time. Awkward bridging, but he's only got to dab the red in. Nine. Would have been a different proposition if he had to struggle in any way for position. Sixteen. Stephen just had a look at the availability of the pink and where he would like to leave the cue ball on the black to leave a nice angle. 25. So I would suggest he's either play for the pink in the middle to try and nudge reds out. If he's played for the black, he's not leaving him, left himself the best angle to go into the reds. But we'll leave it to the Master break maker. Tight bunch. Forty. Happy with the immediate result, though. Well, there's one loose red he can play for. That's on the right-hand side of the table, but well, I think that's what he's going to play for. Well, he's not run far enough for the... Red on the right hand side of the table, so I don't know whether this plans his second prize or he always had a mind for it. It can be made, there's enough gap between the two reds and just drop it in, it'd be on the black. No. Oh, yes! Well, that looked wide. Six. Seven reds, seven blacks. Seven. 
57. I'm sure this time he'll have to go into the moist and look to see if there's another plant. <coughs> well, there is a plant there. Yes, it's definitely a plant. You'd rather play it than take a chance carrying into the the bunch. Just run too far. I can. I'm, no, I'm not happy. He can still make this into a three ball plant as long as the first one, the first red, it's the second red square on. The plant's still on. But he's got to it the second red square on as, like he would like to normally hit it with his, his tip of the cue. They're so close, he's got to it, it's just right. And he has done. <laughs> and the black's still on. And so is the 147. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. It's uh, one hundred and forty-seven thousand pounds for a maximum. Ten thousand pounds for the highest break. Hendry has made eight maximums in competition. 80. But he hasn't come ideally on his next red. No. He's on the red I think he played for, but just overdid it. But knowing uh, Stephen Hendry as we do, I think he'll be going all out to try and stay on the black here. He already shares the high break with Ronnie O'Sullivan at hundreds of 140. So the maximum still on. That's a better shot to get on this red. And a nice angle on the black to stun off the top cushion for one of those three reds into the same pocket as the black. Won't get much better chance than this. It'd only be better if the pink was on its spot. 97. Great champion in pursuit of another great moment. A little bit lower on the black than he would have liked. I don't know if he can hold in the middle of the table just to avoid the blue or... Depends how he sees it. He's missed the blue, the cue ball needs to slow up a touch, to slow up a touch. 120.
122. He's got the game, he's got the nerve, but the pink still looms up as a major obstacle. Yes, I think if the pink was on the spot, we would consider this as done, but it's a bit tricky. 129. He's got a nice angle on the blue, but it's all about trying to get on this pink at an angle to get on the black. The easier he can leave the pink, the better. Well, he's on the pink, but he's not on the angle to get comfortably on the black. I assume it's going to be the right middle, but he's going to have to play it with pace and come in and out of balk. Good shot needed. gives him a 5-2 lead. That's the final part. It was onto the side jaw, but not far enough to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> 